What is going on guys? Fabrizio Van Marciano here from FabriziovanMarciano.com. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Van Marciano. Welcome to another quick video guys. It has been a while since I've created any new content for my channel, I know, but I'm hoping to change that in the near future. Famous last words, I know. But anyway guys, in this video, I wanna share with you five amazing bricks builder add-ons that I think you should check out. As you may or may not know, I'm not a huge fan of add-ons. I don't think they're necessary most of the time. And I don't like adding extra weights to my websites by using additional plugins because add-ons are essentially additional plugins to enhance features, whether it's on the back end or front end of a website. But uh, these add-ons are super useful. And so I've used some of these for a little while now and I've been pretty impressed. So let's check them out. Let's dive straight onto the screen and get started. Hey guys, welcome back to the screencast. And so let's dive right into this one. So the first one on my list is automatic CSS, which probably doesn't need any introductions from me really. Uh, if you've been in the WordPress community and website builder universe for some time, then chances are you may already know about this one. You're probably already using it. Now, I was kind of quite late to showing a genuine interest in automatic CSS, to be honest. And as I said, I don't really use a great deal of add-ons with bricks. But when I eventually got around to using uh, ACSS, I was, you know, honestly blown away by some of the features that have definitely helped to improve my workflow and quality of life when working with bricks. Now, I believe ACSS works with other page builders, so it's not exclusively for bricks. But I put this add-on to my list for a few reasons. Number one, ACSS for the most part works right out of the box. So if you're a complete non-techie, you don't need to feel intimidated by the <laughs> seemingly endless options that this plugin has. I mean, you can make as many changes as you like. You can dive deep into customizing how you want ACSS to work and also depending on the goal of your website design project as well, but it will work fine right out of the box. So that is that. Number two is the layout options. You can get as basic or as complex as you like with your layouts and ACSS supports both Flexbox and grid layouts. Number three is the color palette management, which for me is one of the features that I love the most about ACSS. And so I can define a set of brand colors at the start of a project using the utility classes and color variables and whatnot. And I can also go back at any time during the design process and make changes very quickly via ACSS. So there's no need for me to start messing around with the colors in bricks. ACSS kind of takes care of all of that. And the color palette also lets me uh, refine color shades as well, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, I mean, those are just a few of the reasons why I'm enjoying using ACSS. I know there's a lot more to learn, to discover about this add-on. But I think if you're looking for a way to add some consistency in your design, as in, you know, the right amount of space, the font styling, the colors, buttons and links and all the rest of it, the best and easiest way to do it is to use something like ACSS. Oh, and the other thing that I did mention is using ACSS will remove the headache of some of the challenges that uh, comes with doing responsive design. You know, yes, Bricks has some great features such as customizable viewports and the ability to add additional breakpoints and whatnot. And you can also add a larger or smaller viewport size as well. Again, this is probably something that you would wanna do early on in your project and depending on your goals for the website as well, but you have those options. All right, so I recommend that you check out ACSS if you haven't already done so. I will have a link in the description of this video so you can go over there and check it out. Moreover, uh, Kevin Geary, who is the creator of ACSS, has some of the best tutorial videos, so you're in good hands. Okay, so number two on my list is Pyotnet Forms. Now, as a longtime user of WP Forms Pro and Gravity Forms and Contact Form 7, I know Contact Form 7 is a free plugin, but after using Pyotnet Forms, uh, you know, I, I kind of realized one thing. Up until about a year or so ago, uh, I don't even know if I should say this, but I feel as if I've, <laughs> I've been robbed by <laughs> paying an extortionate annual fee for a premium Contact Form plugin, which I've been doing for years and years and years. So yeah, I mean, I guess I said it, you know, don't get me wrong. I love the features of WP Forms, you know, but the annual subscription fee isn't cheap and I'm being as kind as possible here. At least I'm trying to be kind as possible, but Pinet Forms is a breath of fresh air and it's possible uses are endless. I mean, you can literally create any kind of form for any conversion goal that you have in mind and have complete control over the layout, the design, the functionality, and more. Now, on the negative side, you know, if I can call it that, because Pinet Forms is highly customizable, it takes a little while to get around all of the features and options, and there is a lot of it. You know, it can get quite overwhelming at the best of times. But that said, I use Pinet Forms on my personal and client sites 
because I love having all of those options available. And uh, I also use it in my web design courses. So I highly recommend this add-on if you're using Bricks Builder, although Bricks has a simple enough contact form element that you can use and customize and whatnot. But uh, the other thing is this plugin isn't really an add-on as such. It's a standalone plugin that you can use with pretty much any WordPress theme, you know, but it does work seamlessly with Bricks. And I should also mention that you can now use Pionet Bricks, which is an add-on uh, for Pionet forms that will let you build complex functions for your forms without writing any code. So that might be worth checking out as well. And don't forget to check out my Pionet Forms tutorials over on my blog at vanmarciano.co as well. Okay, so number three on my list is WP Codebox. Now, this is one plugin that I use persistently and one that I can't recommend enough. In fact, I don't think I've started a single WordPress website project without installing WP Codebox in the past few years. It has become the default plugin. So this is one of the plugins that I install right after installing WordPress. So WP Codebox 2, which is the latest version available, is a powerful code snippets builder and code management plugin for WordPress. And whether you just want to add some simple uh, custom CSS or create fully fledged style sheets to add to your WordPress site, WP Codebox is the plugin to use. What's the benefit? Well, for one, you can use it with any WordPress theme. As I said, it's not exclusively for website builders, but not only can you use WP Codebox to add custom code to your WordPress site, including PHP, JavaScript, and less, but you can also export and import your snippets and you can upload your snippets to the cloud so that you can have access to them on other WordPress sites that you're working on that is using WP Codebox. And one of the features that I use and love the most is being able to create and manage multiple style sheets for each project and it will even compile SCSS, which is pretty awesome. Anyhow, as I mentioned, WP Codebox works with almost all WordPress themes, but it works even better with page builders uh, such as Bricks and Oxygen. So yeah, I highly recommend checking it out. I will have a link in the description. So number four on my list is Metabox. When it comes to adding custom fields to your WordPress website, there are a few options available out there. Metabox is one of those options and having used several other custom field plugins in the past, uh, yes, including advanced custom fields, for me, at least Metabox is by far the simplest to use. And again, that's just my personal experience. So as you probably guessed, Metabox is a infinitely flexible WordPress custom uh, fields plugin. The core plugin is actually free to use with additional features available under premium options, as is always the case with these plugins. But even with a free version, you can create custom post types, custom fields for almost any goal that you have for your site. And uh, I recently added some uh, basic tutorials using Metabox that you can check out on my uh, website, on my blog at vanmarciano.co. And I also have some tutorials on how to use Metabox with Bricks Builder in my Bricks Builder web design course. All right, so number five on my list is Bricks Forge, which I think shares some similarities with automatic CSS. However, there are a few additional things that you can do. The core features of this plugin include a builder customizer, global classes management, animations, and the Bricks Forge terminal to name a few. There are a lot more, of course, than this, but my favorite features are animations and the backend designer, which lets you create custom dashboards, login pages, and admin bar, and the ability to customize the builder, which comes in useful if you're using Bricks to build client sites, simple enough to self-manage. So yeah, this is a plugin that has a lot to offer, and I used uh, Bricks Forge on my main site, vanmarciano.co. I do have one more on my list, and that is Bricksable, which I'll be honest with you, I haven't yet gotten the opportunity to look at properly. I've played around with it for a little bit. However, I recently worked on a client site that has this plugin enabled, and from what I could see with very little experience, it has some pretty useful features. Like the rest of the plugins mentioned above, Bricksable is designed to enhance Bricks Builder, speed up your workflow, and comes with a nice bundle of usable elements such as Flipbox, uh, floating elements, tiltable images, and more. Now, the best part about Bricksable is that it's completely free to use, I do believe, so go check it out, install it on a demo site, and take it for a test drive and whatnot. And so, yeah. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I will have links to these so that you can check them out for yourself. If you want to learn more about me and what I do, head over to my website at vanmarciano.co. And uh, I have a bunch of uh, Bricks Builder, Oxygen Builder, Pionet Forms, Member Press, Learn Dash tutorials, and a bunch of others as well. And also my online courses of Bricks Builder and uh, Oxygen Builder. And I'm working on some other course content as well. So yeah, lots more to come. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, hopefully that won't be too long. Take it easy, and peace. Cheers.